on a tenure side investigation into Mo Money Taxes. We found the refund money. It's in a processor's bank account. Our crews confronted Mo Money CEO Marky e. Granberry in Memphis earlier this week. He told us he does not have the money and the name of his company is not on invalid checks. Turns out that's true. According to the processor, Granberry cannot touch the account holding those refunds. Ten of your sides, Ann McNamara is here now to explain. Well, tax refunds go through a chain before they reach us, the customers. And in this specific case, Mo Money Taxes uses a company called Adroit Software, a name you may remember seeing on those refund checks. Well, Adroit Software uses a processor called Up to You. Today, I spoke to the president of that company, and he explained what's taking so long. From the Mo Money headquarters in Memphis, CEO Marky e. Granberry told us repeatedly I don't have the money. I don't have the money. Turns out he's right. Mo Money Taxes uses a processing company called Up To You. The president of Up To You says the refunds are in Up To You accounts. Neither Marquis nor, uh, nor any of the Mo Money principals have access, can even touch this money. Up To You has assumed complete control of printing refund checks, citing Mo Money struggled to do it correctly. The check cashing community has to have some confidence that if they, if they do cash that check, that they're going to get paid. President Eric Miller says in some cases, Mo Money employees printed two versions of the same check, one void, the other real, but gave the voided copy to the customers. I believe that that was a mistake and not purposeful. Miller says up to you also found checks were delayed because Mo Money employees put information into the system incorrectly. We've got a thousand exceptions attributable to this, uh, which is a high percentage. To add to the frustration, Mo Money taxes in Norfolk and other cities closed their doors. Miller calls the lack of communication sad. And Mr. Granberry and Mo Money is, is trying to do the best they can to uh, not be responsible for this. And I fully understand that. At the same time, uh, I've heard uh, Marky has described himself as I'm just a button pusher. Uh, but there, but frankly, he's more than that. And when asked if up to you will work with Mo Money in the future, under the circumstances that we have that we have um, uh, experienced uh, in the last three weeks, no. As of this morning, Miller says nearly 8,000 checks have been cashed for a total of 36 million dollars. He says up to you is mailing those checks to customers' home addresses. He's asking people to be patient. He's thanking them for their patience. And there's one more thing. Remember that chain I was talking about? Mo Money, Adroit Software, and then up to you. Well, that middleman, Adroit Software, the president is a man named Doug Hughes. I found a BBB alert last year from Tennessee that uh, told customers really beware when you're doing business with Doug Hughes. They had an F rating, and they also just said, you know, beware, this company before has had complaints about tax refunds being delayed, guys. Wow. And, and you just got back from Tennessee, from Memphis, where you saw Marky e. Granberry. I'm just wondering, what, what was it like there in the office? Were customers doing the same thing they are here in Norfolk? Were they, you know, beating down the doors? They weren't beating down the doors. There were definitely fewer customers than I've seen here in Norfolk, but they were in there, and they had the same questions, and they had the same frustration. And hopefully, guys, this story we did today brings some light to what's taking so long. They said, wait for the mail. They're coming. Wow, a lot of folks waiting for that money. Hopefully, sure. they'll get it soon. Thanks, Thanks Ann. Ann. And taxpayers who have questions about the status of their refund should call the Up To You hotline at 855-872-8411.